Welcome to Channel A Mac, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Kyle Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, be the first one of getting all the insight. Now, today's video, uh, I would like to chat about this topic about the balance between employer and employee obviously the uh the work visa and employment sponsor visa has been one of the well most probably the pop most popular topic being chat about uh instead of the uh general skill migration because skill migration will be dependent on your uh, background and whether or not you get a sponsorship from the state or territories but employment sponsor obviously connected to your work and also have a pathway remember uh from the april when they announced the migration review report uh they have talked about to drop the um the the working visa or pathway from three years down to two years in order to become a permanent resident and also merging or perhaps scrap the entire skill occupation list so it, it, it will become one of the largest used pathway to migrate in the very near future now this video i would like to discuss about the balancing between employer and employee so let's just have a little think the reason i wanted to talk about this is sometimes uh obviously a lot of you are coming to this channel and watching my videos obviously want to know more and knowledge in regards to the visa but sometimes if we, if we take the visa side apart uh and really realistically thinking about uh getting a job and getting a work now you really need to think about how the relationship between your employer your boss and yourself and also your career future and not just for whatever that you're doing now obviously visa is one of the and migration is one of the uh important element to this uh, but it's not all of it so I, I wanted to chat about this and get uh, a lot of people more sense on what you're expecting not just solely focus sometimes a lot of people solely focusing on migration then the problem is uh, you, you deviate from the actual your career pathway and how you really need to deal with your relationship between you and your employer or you, you if you are the employer your relationship between your employee and that's actually very important and that's why in this employer sponsored visa is the most disputable category visa well since the you know invention of the, the visa categories oh there's always problem there and you really need to understand why you're there and the reason you're there and also for your future so you need to look in, into the short term mid term and the long term for yourself and how you actually build this relationship between okay now first of all this visa if you're not familiar with the Australian visa that we were generally talking about the temporary skill shortage visa uh, now currently they're still in short term medium term and labor agreement so I think they're gonna merge the short and medium long term because uh, that that's categorized by the um, former government with the occupation the differences of occupation list and also the regional and non-regional so uh, now if you want to know more about the background of th this visa you may want to do a search within my channel but today we're going to talk about uh the the balancing between the uh, the employee and employment visa and, and that is why there has always been talk and you probably have seen this video i've done one previously about the uh, australian border forces looking to crack down the business exploitation uh on the migrant workers now why is it so important now if we if we chat about simply just talking about uh, the employer side so obviously employer they want to the the business owners right they're the boss right they the, the the main objective is to make as as much profit as they can within the business uh, in the other sense obviously they need to reduce it but it's pretty th simple mathematics or calculation they need to reduce the expenses so if they can uh, utilize 
the migrant workers with a lesser uh, expenditure on salary expenditure, then obviously that's one of the option. And that, that, that's, that's traditionally why uh, over the past 10 years, there has been a debate in regards to the Australians' uh, level of salaries. Now, there's also a problem there. There's always a balance. That's why I, I put the topic of this video about the balancing. Uh, if you're an employer, you, re you really need to calculate the balance. If hiring a local <clears throat> or hiring uh, overseas skilled migrants uh, is the same, then that, that's where the fair mark goes. But if the hiring person, hiring skilled migrant, it's too expensive in the way that the business cannot make profits, then obviously that will cost the issue. It will be a micro uh, economic issue there, uh, and there that you see where the balance is. So the governments always come in, and every term of government they're coming in to check on the balance and shifting the law. <clears throat> now <clears throat> you saw that news about exploitation on the uh, <clears throat> migrant worker. Obviously, there's a lot of you know bad bosses they're using. Uh, whilst the the the, uh, the the migrant workers they require they had that dream to actually work and become a permanent resident of Australia, so utilize them to perhaps first overwork, low pay, uh, and a lot of stuff going on, and uh, uh, it, it, it's just not treating the worker as fair as what they suppose. So they are calling this as a modern. A slavery so that is the problem there to utilize giving them a dream so that's that's what at the, at the beginning of my video I, I was talking about you really need to think about short term mid term and long term if you have too focus on the purpose of migration you probably will deviate and be utilized in a way to become probably a modern slave uh, is what they have described obviously government is coming in to solve the problem but again you know have you seen a perfect government they had you know create the perfect world no our, our world is not perfect so it's always in the balance and it's very it's very important that you have this knowledge and background uh, to understand what you are going you know you, what you're signing with you know if you go into a job and work now if we go on the other side so we have talked about the employers uh, issues now obviously uh, the government is wanting to make it easier for the Australian employer so that the economy is growing but they want to also put that uh, compulsory strengthening the the compliances in order to find that balance there now if you're the employee now also there is a balance that you I've talked about the short mid and long term about your career but also you need to consider this now remember I've done a video previously where there was a there was a family um, employer uh, by Australian employer now what happened is uh, by the end of his employment, obviously he was supposedly he was uh, to transfer to pathway to become a permanent resident, but COVID hit. Now employers' business is no longer sustainable, so either they close down the business or they no longer need the staff. Now this is where you need to consider. If that's the case with the current policy, if they don't change it, if the employer is gone then you can no longer transfer yourself to become a permanent resident. Then that's another problem. You, you simply wasted two, three, five years of your working time in Australia. If your sole purpose is working there is to gain permanent residency, then you, your dream is completely destroyed. Now that's a disastrous. Now, so, so you really need to think about whether how you come in and taking a job and you should really consider options rather than uh, rather than just relying on the employment sponsor pathway to become a permanent. So, uh, a mindset for for the migrants, if you want really wanted to settle in Australia, you really think about getting an employment visa, employment sponsor visa, and at the same time perhaps applying for the skill migration as well. You may think this is a little bit too ex exhausted it's too much for you but 
again, uh, short term, mid term, and long term consideration is all required because you really need to find that balance there. Uh, during everybody has gone to a work, uh, you know, getting a job and work previously. There, there's so much complications between employees, different groups, and employee and employer. Now those kind of things could also. Uh, you know, create not, not trouble, but problem and uh, complication uh, towards the migration pathway. So you really need to think about finding that pathway there. And also there's people going into 494 regional. Uh, should they uh, relocate themselves or go into the suburban area? So that's another thing. So not just a lot of people just simply the message that what I wanted to, I wanted to share with you is that uh, a lot of people only think about getting an employment visa and they they think they thought and they think uh, that's the end of the story that's probably not what it is and that's why there's so much complication coming to uh, when a uh, 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 sometimes I talk to this to a lot of clients. Uh, a matter, whatever it's going to be, a business inv investment, a job and work. If they involve visa, it becomes very complicated in a way. I think a lot of people have gone through that um, stories and, and seen a lot of news. You mean you probably can understand what I'm trying to say. I mean, I, I wanted to describe this as clear as transparent as possible uh but it's case by case a lot of scenarios different you you, you probably can do a little bit of search on uh the the news article media there has been a lot of um well they call it exploitations but sometimes these employee uh, proactively agree to actually conduct those kind of job in order to actually get into permanent residency. Now, whether or not this is right or wrong, obviously the uh, the government of Australia is trying to criminalize uh, this kind of conduct. Uh, but can you really stop it? I doubt. So really need to put that mindset into, into yourself, into your brain. When you either graduate, getting a job, or you're overseas uh, looking for employer, getting a, 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 a Put perhaps a visa there. You really need to have a little clear, better clear pathway what you re require to do in the future. Anyway, if you have more question, query, more than welcome to leave comment right down below. And I'll see you next video. Goodbye.